Have you ever wondered about the underrated Filipino inventions that reached the moon? Today we shine a spotlight on an underappreciated genius who left an indelible mark on lunar exploration. Meet Eduardo San Juan, a Filipino mechanical engineer who played a pivotal role in the development of a vehicle that would roam the moon's surface. Born and raised in the Philippines, San Juan was a graduate of Mapua Institute of Technology. His curious mind and unparalleled determination led him to further his studies in nuclear engineering at the prestigious University of Washington. Prior to his involvement in the lunar project, San Juan had his hands full working on intercontinental ballistic missiles, also known as ICBMs. His work was instrumental in the advancement of missile technology, but the moon was calling, and San Juan would answer in spectacular fashion. His genius would soon be recognized when he became the primary designer of the lunar rover, or as it's more commonly known, the moon buggy. This was no ordinary vehicle. It was a battery-powered, four-wheeled rover designed to transport one or two astronauts along with their equipment and lunar samples. The moon buggy was a groundbreaking invention that would play a significant role in the last three Apollo missions in the early 70s. San Juan's invention was not just a vehicle. It was a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. It was a symbol of what we as a species can achieve when we dare to dream beyond our earthly confines. And while the moon buggy remains on the moon to this day, San Juan's legacy continues to inspire back here on Earth. Eduardo San Juan's story is a testament to the power of dreams and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. His contribution to space exploration is a point of pride for the Filipino community and an inspiration to aspiring scientists and engineers worldwide. Now let's delve deeper into the creation of this remarkable moon buggy. What exactly is this moon buggy and what role did it play in space exploration? Let's take a closer look at this remarkable piece of engineering. The moon buggy, or lunar rover as it's officially known, is a battery-powered four-wheeled vehicle designed for transport on the moon. Weighing in at a mere 460 pounds, it boasts a payload capacity of 1,080 pounds. That's more than twice its own weight. The buggy's frame spans 10 feet in length with a wheelbase of 7.5 feet and stands at a height of 3.6 feet. Crafted from aluminum alloy tubing, the frame is a marvel of compact design, capable of being folded up and stowed away in the Apollo Lunar Module for transport. But the ingenuity doesn't stop there. The vehicle features two foldable seats made of tubular aluminum, adjustable footrests and seat belts, ensuring the astronauts' safety during their lunar expeditions. And let's not forget the mesh dish antenna mounted on a mast, an essential tool for communication back to Earth. The moon buggy made its debut during the Apollo 12 mission in 1971, marking a significant milestone in lunar exploration. It played a vital role in the last three Apollo missions, enabling astronauts to travel further and collect more lunar samples than ever before. This incredible machine, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, remains on the moon to this day, a symbol of our quest for knowledge and exploration. But how did this extraordinary vehicle make its journey from Earth to the moon? Stay with us as we explore how this incredible machine was transported to the moon. Ever thought about how this moon buggy got to the moon? It's quite a marvel, isn't it? The moon buggy, a testament to Filipino innovation, didn't just magically appear on the moon. No, it was meticulously designed to fold up and fit snugly in the Apollo lunar module. Picture this, a four-wheeled vehicle weighing a mere 460 pounds, with a 10-foot long frame made of aluminum alloy tubing. Despite its lightweight design, this space-age chariot could carry a payload of more than double its weight, a whopping 1,080 pounds. It's not just about muscle, though. This buggy was also about grace. It had adjustable footrests, seat belts, and even two foldable seats made of tubular aluminum, truly a masterclass in engineering. But how did it get to the moon? Well, it hitched a ride. The Apollo lunar module, like an interstellar moving van, transported the moon buggy to our celestial neighbor. Once there, the vehicle's foldable design allowed it to be unpacked and assembled for use by the astronauts. And here's a fun fact. The moon buggy is still up there. 
Yes, it remains on the moon, a silent reminder of human achievement and a testament to the genius of Eduardo San Juan. It's like a monument, really, a monument to human ingenuity, to exploration, and to the spirit of curiosity that drives us to reach for the stars, or in this case, the moon. Indeed, the moon buggy's journey to the moon is a story of triumph, human innovation, of the indomitable spirit of exploration, and of a Filipino engineer's contribution to one of humanity's greatest adventures. In the middle of our fascinating journey, here's a quick reminder. Enjoying the journey so far? Why not subscribe to our channel for more interesting content? With just a click, you'll be part of our family, unlocking a universe of fascinating stories right at your fingertips. Don't forget to hit that like button and share the video with your friends. Now, back to our lunar exploration. Who was Eduardo San Juan beyond his scientific achievements, you may ask? Well, he was more than just an engineer. Eduardo was a family man, a mentor, and an inspiration to many. Eduardo's life was a testament to the power of determination and hard work. Born and raised in the Philippines, he graduated from the Mapua Institute of Technology before moving to the United States to further his studies. He studied nuclear engineering at the University of Washington, expanding his knowledge and honing his skills. But his success was not limited to the realm of academics and professional achievements. He was also a family man, deeply loved and respected by those who knew him best. His daughter, Elizabeth San Juan, often spoke of her father's dedication not only to his work but also to his family. His commitment to both his professional and personal responsibilities was a testament to his character. In 1978, Eduardo's contributions to science and technology were recognized when he received a 10 Outstanding Men or Tom Award. This prestigious award was a validation of his hard work and dedication. It served as an acknowledgement of his significant contributions to not only the field of engineering, but also to humanity's understanding of space exploration. Yet, despite his remarkable accomplishments, Eduardo San Juan remained humble. He was a man who believed in the power of science and technology to change the world. His life's work, from the development of the lunar rover to his contributions to intercontinental ballistic missiles, was driven by a desire to push the boundaries of what was possible. Eduardo San Juan was not just the man behind the moon buggy. He was a pioneer, a trailblazer, and an inspiration to all who aspire to make a difference in the world of science and technology. His legacy lives on, not just on the moon, but in the hearts and minds of those he inspired. Join us next time as we continue to highlight the unsung heroes of science and technology. His story is a testament to the fact that anyone, regardless of where they come from, can reach for the stars and leave a lasting impact on the world. You do want to keep discovering the hidden gems of human innovation. If so, you found the right place to feed your curiosity. This channel is brimming with intriguing stories about the unsung heroes of science and technology, just like Eduardo San Juan, who have changed the course of history with their remarkable inventions. But we can't do it alone. We need your help to keep these stories alive. That's why we're inviting you to become part of our community. By hitting that subscribe button, you're not just joining a channel. You're joining a community of curious minds eager to delve into the unknown and celebrate the achievements of humanity. And we want to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments about the inventions or inventors we've discussed, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section. We love engaging with our viewers, and your thoughts might just spark the topic of our next video. Also, if you've been inspired by Eduardo San Juan's story, why not share it with your friends and family? Who knows, you might just inspire the next great inventor among them. After all, stories like these deserve to be shared, celebrated and remembered. So, are you ready to embark on this journey of discovery with us? We promise it's going to be an exciting ride filled with fascinating tales of human ingenuity. Remember to subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and stay inspired. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.